Dear students of Lighthouse School, Class 10. Today, we will begin Chapter 3 of the English Course Book. Chapter 3. Protecting Our Fauna. The world around us looks so varied and beautiful. Suppose, the world is of one single color, can you imagine what our life will be? Monotonous, of course, it will be. But Mother Nature is benign, and the world is multicolored. Making our lives so enjoyable and pleasant. It is not difficult to understand that one of nature's benedictions is the flora and fauna. The world is what it is, a habitable planet, in fact the only planet so far known to man, in which living beings can dwell and prosper. And look at our wealth of fauna. The animal world. Varied in kind and color. Northeast India is a hotbed of rich flora and fauna. In fact, large part of its area constitute mysterious and unexplored areas, making them a challenge to lovers of adventure. Endowed with diverse tourist attractions, Northeast India is the melting pot of varieties of flora and fauna. The monsoon rains and the subtropical climate of Northeast India have made it a region conducive to the growth of varied breed of flora and fauna in the region. Among these vast range of fauna, two of them are world-renowned. These two are the Songhai deer of Manipur and the one-horned rhinoceros of Assam. Unfortunately, human greed and selfishness are threatening the very existence of these rare animals. A unique gift of nature to Manipur is the Songhai deer. Romantically called the dancing deer, and in a more prosaic term, the brow antlered deer. The Songhai deer, scientific name, Cervus ldi LD, once believed to be extinct, was rediscovered in the year 1953. Its natural habitat is the Ke Bo Lam Jiao National Park, a protected area where poaching and intrusion are prohibited. But despite being protected, the Songhai deer is a highly endangered species. The Ke Bo Lam Jiao National Park is a unique land mass. It is a wetland, constituted of a floating mat of vegetation, known locally as Fum Di. It has an environment highly favorable to the livelihood and growth of the Songhai. The Songhai is under threat from the Lok Tak hydroelectric project. Before the Lok Tak project, the actual park area used to sink and float respectively during the dry and wet seasons. Now, this cycle has been disturbed, and the park area does not get its nutrients as it used to, leading to paucity of grass for the deer. More threatening to the deer is of course, human beings, who live in the nearby villages. They encroach upon the park area for cultivation, grazing of livestock, and collecting firewood. The pesticides they use in farming affect the health of the deer. Further, they enter the park for poaching the deer, which is an illegal activity. However, government agencies, NGOs and many local bodies are trying their best to bring awareness to the people of Manipur in general, and particularly to the people living in the vicinity of the park, about their duty to effectively guard this unique deer of which every Manipuri, through the length and breadth of Manipur, is very proud of. It should be clear, that if the deer is to survive, it is man, who will have to protect it. The one-horned rhinoceros of Oz Sum, is another rare species of fauna, that is facing extinction. It is a unique creature, second in size only to the elephant, a horn growing vertically upon the middle of its forehead, 
and thick skin having folds. One-horned rhinos once ranged in thousands across the northern part of the Indian subcontinent. Along the river basins of the Indus, the Ganges and the Brahmaputra, from Pakistan to the Indo-Burmese border. But during the 1800s and early 1900s, the rhinos were hunted relentlessly and persistently in the name of sports, and the species was rendered near extinction. Although sport hunting had been prohibited in the early 1900s, the threat to the rhinos still persists. Today, poaching is the greatest threat to the rhinos. It is the outcome of human greed and thoughtlessness. People have an unfounded belief that the rhino horn has health-giving properties in it. And people kill rhinos for its valuable horns. From 1980 to 1993, 692 rhinos were poached in India. In Laukoa Wildlife Sanctuary, 41 rhinos were killed in 1983. Virtually the entire population of the sanctuary. By the mid-1990s, poaching had rendered the species extinct there. The Indian government has taken major steps towards the conservation of the Indian rhinoceros. In 1910, all rhino hunting was prohibited. Rhinos today are confined only to a few pockets of national parks, mainly in the eastern parts of India. Kazi Ranga National Park being the biggest of these sanctuaries. As a result of this concerted effort by the India government, today the population of the Indian one-horned rhinoceros is on the up. From 366 in 1966 to 2,329 in 2012 in Kazi Ranga alone. Apart from the Songhai deer, and one-horned rhino, many varieties of animals and birds are under the constant threat of extinction all over the country due to poaching and encroachment. It should, however, be clear that all creatures, big and small, belong to this earth. Indeed, the earth would look dull and joyless if these beautiful animals become extinct. If animals are to continue to beautify this earth, we should realize that it is our duty to protect them. Dear students of Lighthouse School, Class 10, that was the third chapter of your English course book. We will be back with more lessons soon. For notes and solutions, please follow the link in the description. Make sure to revise and complete your assignments on time. Also make sure to follow a daily routine of study, especially writing practice. Take care. Stay home and stay safe.